today, guys, we are going to the African rainforest to look at one of the world's largest scorpions. This is the emperor scorpion, and they live in the rainforest of Africa, mainly living in the countries along the western coast. They can reach lengths of 10 to 11 inches, with females being larger than the males. Excuse me. A pregnant female can weigh around 28 grams or 0.98 ounces. If you've seen my video called Scorpions on the Outside, you'll know that scorpions have pectines on the bottom of their bodies. Male emperor scorpions have larger, these, anyway, these organs will be larger than the female. And this is what I'm talking about. It's these little feathery um, contraptions on the bottom of the body. They can be found in burrows of other um, animals, under leaf litter, inside termite mounds. They are terrestrial and active at night. Females give birth to live young, which ride around on the mother's back, and they'll defend themselves with these large pinchers. They rarely sting, but they will sting if it's only for defensive purposes. Now, that being said, the young uh, scorpions do rely more on the stingers than the adults. They are carnivores and will eat termites and other insects and whatever else might come along. And they'll use these pinchers to kill their food. Um, whereas younger scorpions will use their venom to kill their food. They breed all year long. However, females may kill and eat the males after mating. They actually have a gestation period of nine months and then she'll have 10 to 12 babies. And females tend to be more aggressive after giving birth, which makes sense because they want to protect those babies on their back. They will reach maturity around four years of age. In captivity, these animals can live for five to eight years. Emperor scorpions are food for birds, bats, mammals, spiders, and even other scorpions. Emperor scorpions are protected under CITES and cannot be imported into the United States. Emperor scorpions have venom that has qualities that have been discovered to be good against malaria and bacteria. Um, more on that later. And that wraps up today's video.